He's kind of swerving everywhere. Oh no. Oh no. Oh, my. he just went off the bridge into the water. Okay. Uh, well, good thing he can swim. All right, guys, another day, another dollar. We're getting to work here at Chow Repo, and I'm pulling in with something on the back that I'll show you guys in a second. It's, uh, let's just say I, maybe I didn't secure it the best, and I could have been driving a little crazy. I, I, I spilled some coffee on my pants when I was driving, and I kind of jerked the steering wheel a little bit, and this is what happened. We were hauling our TLX service truck. That can attach to all our, our service bed in a bunch of other configurations. And we got her unloaded. Everything works good. So like I said, this is this had to get some work done. So I just had to take it to a bigger shop to, to do some things. And then there's Garrett. He's pulling in. Holy cow. Good to see you, Garrett. Good to see you too, man. How you doing? Yeah, yeah, doing good. Did you? This thing seems bigger than last time. You put new tires on her? Oh, of course, man. The old ones weren't really looking too good. So I decided to upgrade it a little bit. All right, I think the old ones look just fine, but yeah, no, I know how you are with trucks. You uh, you put a lot of money into her. Oh yeah, well this is my baby, so I gotta treat her well. Very nice. Well, here is here's our new, this is our new repo truck slash tow truck. Here she is, Garrett. So guys, it's a TLX Phoenix Semi or Series, and then you can put the uh, you can put it as a hydraulic cylinder on the back, so then you can raise this up. Pretty cool. Triple axles, Garrett. We'll be able to haul the world. Man, I'm looking forward to using these. It's going to be a lot better. We actually traded in the old beds in order to get this because Chow didn't want to spend all that money. So That's right. That's right. Somebody's actually balancing their budget for once. That's, that's good to see. So it has triple axle tandem. So what is that? That's uh, There's there's 14 tires, so it's not an 18-wheeler. I get here. Yeah, 14 tires. That's crazy. And uh, this is a wife hauler. That's for sure. So, Garrett, if your wife ever needs a ride, I know she usually squats your truck pretty good. Uh, we could probably strap her onto the bed here and take her to the grocery yeah. store. Actually, if I'm being honest with these new tires, she doesn't damage oh, it at all. Oh, that's why you got the old ones. Cause the new, yeah. er, that's why you got new ones because the old ones probably cracked and broke with all the weight. Yeah, but for Helga, this thing will be perfect. That's true. That'll load her up just fine. Well, let's uh, let's get this bed folded on here. I actually have a job to do, and I know you. What do you yeah, have going on? I got a job as well that's actually pretty far away. I should be able to do it myself though. So I guess we'll be working on different things today. Nice, yeah, let me, I guess I don't really need to back it in. Let's drop it here. I need to figure out how to drop those third axles. Cause uh, yeah, if I give your wife a ride to the grocery store, I'll need to drop that third axle. Otherwise we'll be overweight. All right, all right. Stop talking. Okay. She's yeah, a great woman. She, she is. She personality. Is. That's right. That's right. Well, here's my pickup truck here. Here's Chow's Lambo. And uh, yeah, you better get going, Garrett. I think you're running late. Yeah, man. I'm going to be taking out this orange one. So it's just like yours, but this one's better because it's mine. Okay. All right. Yeah, I do like the color combination. Looks very clean. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Well, either way, man, I'll see you later. Maybe we'll meet up at the shop again. For sure. Hammer on the uh, horn. Oh, yeah. There we go. Yeah. Pull it out. All right, guys, good thing Garrett left. So well, I, I, I kind of made a joke that somebody was balancing their budget because Garrett has not been. We got a call from the bank and Garrett has a loan through through the bank we work with on repos and his truck. He hasn't been paying any bills for the past six months. So now the bank, uh, the bank's coming to repo or wants us to repo his truck, take it back to the bank. That's collateral on his loan. So then they can actually they're going to sell it. And, uh, and get their money back. So unfortunately, what I have to do is I'm the one who's supposed to do this. We kept this under the radar, Chow and I. But today's the day we're going to officially load it up. He's been driving his other truck to the work because he got new tires on that one. But I kind of feel bad. I got to do what I got to do. Now, the crazy thing is Garrett knows that he, well, he should know that he hasn't been paying his bills. And so he knew he was going to get repossessed. And he's a repo man himself. So I'm not too sure what he was thinking. But we got to do it, guys. We're repoing it. Garrett's truck. Let's get this into position. Oh, I I actually might need to make her a bit wider. We might as well. There we go. Looks good. Looks good. What's really nice about this bed is we could do like tractors or like just really, really wide vehicles like this thing. We'll get it loaded up. I know where his keys are, so I'm literally just going to drive this on. There we go. Let's get her loaded up here. Looks good. This is going to be... It's actually going to look pretty cool on the bed. Not going to lie. So... I just finished up paperwork and we're heading down to the bank repo lot right now. There we go. Looks good. She's loading up. I think she's holding on there, but I almost forgot. I got to put my lights on. My flasher's on. Hope you guys are enjoying today's episode so far. If you enjoy repeat. 
repoing and towing videos please let me know by one hitting the like button and then comment something say you like these type of videos if you guys ever have crazy video ideas that you want to see me do i love doing video ideas that are in the comment section because i don't know it just when you guys come up with ideas i think it's a lot more fun so there's the there's the fire station guys that's uh, I was like passing by there. I better get on my horn. And then uh, I think on our way back, we'll actually stop at KFC. I, I, I might have accidentally ordered a uh, bucket of chicken wings. I guess maybe it was an accident. Maybe I called ahead to plant it out. That tree, they need to fix that tree. Holy cow. That thing's about to fall on somebody's head. All right, so we're going over this bridge. All right, water levels look good. Sometimes this place floods out and it did about two weeks ago. So it gets kind of crazy. All right, we're passing the the mile long bridge is what we're going over this always gets a little sketchy the only thing i was thinking about is uh whoa 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 no 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 uh-oh 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 that's garrett he's laying on his horn what does he do he's trying to turn around no 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 okay uh he must have done a re yeah yeah you i totally forgot he was doing a repo back here all right he's turning around it's gonna take him a, a second to turn around let's uh this is what we're gonna do go up this dirt road he wouldn't think i would go up this and then park come on can i get in here all right turn the lights off put it in these bushes here so gare isn't supposed to know that we're repoing his truck he's gonna get really mad all right, let's see. He shouldn't be able to see us. I'm in this grass here. Oh, I hear him. There he is. He turned around. Okay, that took him. He went a lot faster than I thought. But we're in position. We're hidden. Oh, he's calling my phone. He's texting me. He's spamming me. Answer. Yeah. Uh, Where in the world are you? Oh, uh, so Garrett, that that must. What do you What do you mean? What do you mean? Wait, don't Don't act like you don't know. I just passed by you, man. No, Where I'm back at the shop. I'm back at the shop. Bro, I know you aren't at the shop. You were going the opposite direction with my vehicle. Uh, Where are you? Uh, okay. Oh, oh, I do I hear you? Hold up, hold up. Are you in the bushes over there? Uh, yeah, right to your, to your right. I see, you, man. No, no, no. I see you. No, you don't. Oh gosh. Yeah, I do. All right, I see hang my up. Truck. All right, guys, I hung up on him. He saw me in the bushes. What? Am all right, this isn't good. All right, he's, he's chasing after me. Oh, gosh. There we go. Okay, this is what we got to do. So, Garrett is, uh, he's a good friend, co-worker, but he's, uh, he's a little crazy. You guys hear that earlier? He called his truck his baby. I don't know what grown men do that. Maybe, maybe a lot of them, but he's pretty attached to this truck, and I think he's going to do whatever he can to get it. What we got to do is we got to shake and bake him. Here we go, crank this around. We gotta get him to run into a tree. I guess that's company vehicle too. All right, we've got a good lead on him there. He's gotta turn around. All right guys, he's right behind us, but I think he's just so crazy for this truck. He's gonna do anything to get it. He'll literally lose his job to get it. Hopefully we can reason with him and uh, cause we, we kinda need some help. All right, hang a left. I think I'm gonna head back into the city. We, I don't wanna have to call the cops on him, but he's driving a little crazy and I'm driving bad here. There he is. He's literally cutting through the grass. He's about to hit me. All right, he's right behind me. Okay, he's shot into the barriers. This guy's going crazy, so that's why I wanted to keep this on the down low, not let him know that we were ever going to repo this because I knew he wouldn't let us. All right, we're flying. We're flying. I think he actually hurt the truck. He's kind of swerving everywhere. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, my. he just went off the bridge into the water. Okay, um... Well, good thing he can swim, and, uh, and I think we're going to go head to the bank and drop off the truck. Remember, guys, Garrett was a good swimmer back in college, so I don't think we have to worry about him too much. But uh, Chow is going to be out a, a really nice tow truck. So I just pulled out a KFC back there, and I got my chicken wings, but we're heading back to the shop. I dropped off the truck a little earlier, and I think I have two more jobs for the rest of the day. But that was pretty eventful. It took about uh, 30 minutes longer than what it should have. And I don't know. I haven't gotten any calls from Garrett. I think probably because his phone went underwater. But that was pretty crazy. I feel I do feel bad for the guy. But hey, he makes good money at Chow Repo. He should have been paying his bills. All right, let's get pulled in here. So I'm going to take my lunch break. Eat some of the KFC I, I got to go. This is good. It's starting to smelt my cap a little bit. All right, lights off. Shut her down. She did good. First load, she did good. So that truck wasn't too heavy. It was just big and wide. So... That worked out nice. I'm going to go into here and we'll get something to eat. There we go. We'll shut the... Whoa, 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 whoa. Spencer. Garrett, Spencer. why are you so wet, man? You're soaking wet. Mm, you need a don't. towel? 
do I need it? I need my truck back. Well, you need to be paying for the truck, okay? Yeah, Nothing in life hug, is man. free. Give me a hug. Give me a hug. No, 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 no. I'll shake yeah. on it. We need to fix this, okay? You can't be chasing after people. We had to do what we had to do. The bank came knocking. Okay, but man, I, I destroyed the truck. Like completely destroyed the semi truck. It is underwater. Yeah, 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 yeah. I was trying to figure out how that was going to work. So that's between you and Chow if you're going to keep your job. Uh, I recommend oh, we have oh. a dryer in there. Dry off your clothes. You owe me half of that. No, 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 no. You were yes, not supposed to be. Do. I literally saw you like swerve off. I video yeah, I've only because I had to chase you down. I tell you what, Garrett, you put those clothes in, in the dryer. The dryer's in the other room here. Man, I'm going to get payback for this. Hey, I hope you I know. I tell you what, have some KFC here. I got a bucket for you. It'll make you feel better. Is this fake chicken? No, no, it's real. It's just, you know, KFC. Th this does not... It's a little rubbery, I will stuff? admit. It's a little rubbery. Oh, ew. I don't... Man, I'm soaked. You'll, you'll get over it. Just put your stuff in the dryer and maybe just dry off, sit, uh, sit out in the sun. You should be good. Oh, I so hope that Chow fires you when he hears about all this. All right, guys. Well, I think we, uh, I think Garrett's going to keep his job. Probably, you know what? Maybe, probably not. He kind of, I forgot he wrecked a tow truck, but I think he's on good terms again and uh, he, he needs a job to, to go get his truck back if he can. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's episode. If you did, smash the like button. That was pretty funny. Pranking Garrett. And uh, yeah, we'll see if he keeps his job. Let me know if you guys think he will. I, I kind of don't actually. So smash the like button, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.